Ethik Recht. Because it is affordable, you can have a very nice office without breaking the budget. And there's always lots of people moving to Berlin, so there's a good choice of hiring good people here. I think it's probably a, a close tie between Club Mate and, and Latte Macchiato. <laughs> so we have a very nice coffee machine, uh, but also some of the front-end developers drink a lot of Club Mate. It can't be healthy. <laughs> no, not, not at all. No. So, um, no, I think my wife knows that I love this job and I would be miserable all day if I had to work at Siemens. I mean, I used to work at other startups and I liked it, but I think it's even better to, to work at, on your own project because you don't have to ask anyone for permission. Our main challenge is finding developers, really. And we don't need more money for that. We need to find more developers. <laughs> so, yeah. So if I could maybe poach people from another startup, then it would definitely be SoundCloud because they have the same uh, level of, um, of expectations to their developers. I would, I would love to steal their, you know, their development team. <laughs> so we, we hire developers that can code, obviously, but we also try to only hire people who also have their own side projects where they learn how to develop you know, their own features or their own game or whatnot. Um, because it's important that you understand not only the code, but also the user experience. And we want everyone to understand what makes a good product. Uh, we're using uh, Java and Google App Engine. So that's the back end. We're using Jersey for, for the REST API that we're building. On the front end, we're using AngularJS and lots of HTML and CSS, obviously. Um, we're starting to move from Grunt to Gulp, so we're always trying to use the, the latest and hottest uh, technology. Um, and uh, what else? Well, it's all on our website. We have uh, all our tools listed there, so I don't know what comes to mind. Phantom JS for testing and Karma for testing and all these front-end tools. I, I lose track sometimes. There's so much. <laughs> I mean, we, we have been contacted by, I don't know, 30 VCs by now, and there's always a catch. They want a board seat, they want more shares than you think they should have, and uh, they're all very nice and all very smart, but uh, ultimately they all want something. Of course, it's their business, and it feels like the, there's always a catch, and you don't you would like to take the money, but you don't want to deal with the downsides of it. That's why we never took funding. It took us a year till we got a credit card. That was very embarrassing because, well, I mean, you have to buy stuff online, right? You have to, we have to buy software licenses and we have to pay by credit card. So uh, for one year, I had to use my private credit card because our bank just said no. Well, you know, you're, you're a GmbH, okay, you gave us 20,000 euro, but we don't think you deserve a credit card. I didn't expect that. That was really bad. I was very unhappy. <laughs> I think it's, it's very, very interesting work. We are dealing with lots of hard problems on the back end, for instance, all the non-functional stuff like performance and, and optimization and architecture. But also we're dealing with very interesting and demanding customers. And so there's always new projects every couple of weeks. I mean, sometimes we have new projects every day, but sometimes we have longer projects. Um, that are that are hard and challenging to work on, but when you solve them, you make customers happy, and our customers love us.